What better way to garnish your favorite cake made using nuts than with pieces of nut brittle? Nut brittle itself can also be enjoyed as a treat on its own. But before you start making this candy, you want to have all your components ready. Starting with the baking tray lined with parchment and then the parchment paper itself has been greased. That way the nut brittle won't stick to the paper. Then an assortment of nuts of like tenderness and texture. I've got peanuts, pistachios for a little color, and some roasted cashews. And here I have two tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to add that to small but critically important ingredients. The first is a teaspoon of baking soda. This will cause the caramelized sugar to bubble up, become foamy, so when it sets, it's easier to bite into. And a teaspoon of vanilla. I've got a wooden spoon ready. I've got a dish with water, so now I can start caramelizing the sugar. Measure four tablespoons, that's quarter cup, of water into the bottom of the pot. This will help melt the sugar so it starts cooking quickly and more evenly. I'll put a cup and a half of sugar into the pot, and I have half a cup of white corn syrup. I'll bring this mixture up to a full boil on high heat. You want to be sure not to stir it at all. Let it just be and bubble away. But as it's boiling, occasionally brush the sides of the pot with a little bit of water. This keeps the sides of the pot clear so no sugar crystals form. All right, now that I've got that amber color, I'll take this off the heat and use a wooden spoon, not a metal spoon, because that conducts the heat. And now's when you have to work quickly. I'll add my baking soda, butter, and vanilla. And as I'm stirring, I'll add the nuts. And you want to work quickly because the nuts will cool down the sugar. And take it right over to your prepared tray and spread it out as quickly as you can before it starts setting up. Now, before it cools completely, and it does take a while to cool, I add a sprinkle of sea salt right on top so it sticks to the brittle. You want to let it cool completely to room temperature. So I'm going to set this aside on my cooling rack and grab a batch that I've already made so I can show you what it's like once it's set. This is the best part about making brittle. You want to crack it into bite-sized pieces. And once you do that, you can crack it into smaller pieces. So I'll arrange this on my little plate with the financiers, and you've got a fantastic assortment. So I hope you've had some fun learning everything you need to know about cakes made using nuts, so you can take these ideas to your own kitchen to bake and enjoy. Thanks for watching Oh Yum. Keep an eye on this channel for plenty of delicious recipes and more.